What's up, guys? All right, as the title says, I'm gonna show you my top five favorite EDC pistols. Now, these may not all be the best selling pistols in the world, but these are the ones that work for me and my body type and the ones that I've carried over the years and I just like carrying the best. Now, I am gonna save my favorite one for last and then we'll go through the rest of them. But the rest of them, there's really no rhyme or reason to them. I can grab them at any point in time. I don't know if I just get tired of carrying my primary one or if I just want to change things up a little bit. Um, but the other four, I don't carry as much as I do the one I, I prefer the most. Um, other than this one that we're going to start with because it is the smallest one and sometimes it just fits what I'm wearing better and I'll tell you why that is. I'll also tell you that all of these but the smallest one is all carried in a QVO tactical wingman holster. I have these holsters here and you'll see soon that I'm a creature of habit. But let's get into it. So the very first one that I'm gonna talk about is the Glock 42. Little 380, little bitty small gun. And a lot of times I'll carry it in like this little holster right here, or I will carry it in a pocket holster. A lot of people say this pistol's too big to carry in a pocket. I have found that not to be true. I guess maybe my pockets are just bigger than theirs. I don't know. Um, but this does fit in most of the shorts that I own, but I don't really carry it in shorts that much as far as like normal clothes. When I carry this in my pocket, I'm usually wearing some kind of basketball type short or some kind of gym short or something like that. I drop it in those pockets and those pockets are usually a little bit deeper and uh, this thing fits really nice in it. Now, if I'm wearing sweatpants where the pockets may not be as deep like I was today, this is what I carry today, I carry it like this right here. And I have found that this clip is good enough that if I really cinch down the drawstring, on my um, sweats, sweatpants, uh, this stays in just fine. It doesn't really move side to side. I can I can draw it. I you know drew it several times in the sweatpants, and this deep clip right here grabs on and just grabs the fabric. And I've never had it pull out. I've trained with it to make sure it does it, and I have never had this holster pull out. Um, of my sweatpants. Again, you want to tighten down your drawstring because it will uh, sag your sweatpants down uh, with the weight with a magazine in it. But um, that is how I carry this. Anytime I go on vacation, I stop at a rest area or something like that. Most of the time if I'm on vacation, I'm wearing like some kind of you know basketball short, gym short, or sweatpants to drive down there. So this is what I take with me for the drive down. Um, and like when I go play golf, um, this is always in my golf bag. A lot of times it's not in that holster though. Um, it'll be in the pocket holster because it takes up a little less room and it will be in my golf bag with me. Um, if you see me out golfing, um, if I go inside, that goes inside with me as well. All right, next, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into this one. Uh, this one probably gets carried the least. I'm, I am gonna say that even way less the, actually, the Glock 42 is probably the second most carried gun that I carry, um, just because a lot of times I run out somewhere I just have on gym shorts. Um, but this is probably carried the least, and what am I talking about? The Glock 43X in a QVO Tactical Wingman holster. This is multicam black, even though this side doesn't have much multicam on it. That is a thing about multicam black. You never know if it's actually going to be just black or some multi-cam on it. I don't know. I always choose a bright color for the back side. That way, when you go to reholster the firearm, you can see that there's nothing trapped in the trigger guard and you can get the pistol back down in there and you have your spare uh, shield arms magazines. Um, here is the gun. This gun actually conceals really well. Um, it points really well. The way I have the mag well on this, um, it actually aids me in getting the gun up to my being aligned. I don't know, without this, sometimes it's a little off uh, when I pull it up, but with this mag well, it just seems like it just makes the pistol way more pointable for me. That Glock angle is a little weird. Um, I've shot a lot of Glocks, but I've been away from Glocks for a long time now. I've, I, I've said this many times, I, I think Glock is getting outdated and they're just not staying up with the rest of the pack when it comes to pistols. Um, but this is probably one of my favorite Glock pistols just because it is so um, 
concealable. I do like my 17 better because uh, I do like larger pistols overall. Um, but just for the concealability, uh, the Glock 43X um, is the way to go. And you can see how I have it set up right there. If you have any questions about anything you're seeing on this, leave them in the comments and uh, I'll answer it. But uh, since this thing actually started running uh, Shield Arms magazines, um, I like it even better. Uh, when I first got the Shield Arms magazines, my guns wouldn't run them, and I don't know if they just got broke in or the springs of the magazines got broke in, but all of a sudden, uh, it just started running it. So uh, I do like this gun a little better, uh, but it is probably the least carried gun on the table. But every once in a while, I do pull this out and decide, hey, I think I'm gonna carry that Glock today. All right. Next is probably the next least carried gun on the table, but I do carry this one, and I carry it more than a Glock 43X. And what is it? It is the Staccato C2. Again, in a QVO Tactical, black multi-cam holster, wingman, with a bright back to it. And I do label all my holsters right there, so I know what to go to when I pick them up. Uh, with the spare mag, uh, I love the Staccato line. I love the C2. Um, you can see how it's outfitted right here. If you have any questions about anything, um, you can ask me. Uh, but I do love the C2s and just the Staccatos in general. It is a little bit heavier. It is a little bit bigger. That's probably why it doesn't get carried as much as the next two. Um, but sometimes I just like a little bit bigger gun. and I just really like Staccatos. So I bought the Wingman holster for it. And it's a little harder to conceal because the grip is a little bit bigger. But if I'm wearing like a hoodie or something, I can conceal it pretty good. And uh, in the winter time, this does get carried every once in a while. All right, to my next most carried gun. This is probably the most carried gun I have. I carried this the other day. And what am I talking about? The SIG X Macro in a multi-cam black wingman holster with a high-vis back. Now this one does have the Gun Z padding. I have a lot of videos on the Gun Z padding if you wanna check that out. Um, I do use that as like a wedge, but it also adds padding down here so the holster uh, doesn't have any hot spots. I'll be putting that on the other ones as well. I just haven't got around to it yet because I've not carried those guns as much. But here again, you can see how I have this one set up. Um, the 17 round magazines that come with this just makes this very appealing. And I'm gonna tell y'all, there's a lot of hype around that comp, but it does work. It does help. Nine millimeter does not have much recoil. But in these small guns, they're light. They do have a little bit more recoil than something say as the Staccato. And uh, this does greatly help out that, um, that recoil. Uh, the X-ray sights that come on these guns, I think are fabulous. They're great. It has a square notch rear. I prefer the square notch over the U-notch. All these guns on the table have square notch. I do have a couple with U-notches, but um, I think SIG factory X-ray night sights are some of the best sights that come on firearms uh, standard from the factory. And I really like this gun. I, I did notice something the other day though. This was a little bit aggressive. I hadn't noticed that in the past, uh, but it did rub me a little bit when I carried it. Cause I carried this the other day for probably five or six hours. And after about the third hour, it started getting a little rough on, on, the, on the front of my stomach. Uh, but this is probably the third most carried uh, handgun I own after the 42 and what is next? What is next is, yep, you guessed it, a P365X. I'm gonna tell you all this, most of the time when I'm carrying in clothes, it's not like gym type clothes, I have some kind of a P365 on me. I have the macro, I have the X, and I have a regular P365. And uh, one of those are usually on me at some point in time. Again, Wingman QVO Tactical Holster, multi-cam black fabric, high-vis, back to it, spare magazine. Creature Habit, they're all even the same colors except the back material. And uh, here you can see how this one is set up. I do have the Wilson Combat um, grip module. This is the one that I built custom. Uh, I do have a video I think it's on my other channel other than the the grip module of putting this together um you all did say 
that the X was better than the standard because I did have a standard grip on this and uh, Wilson Combat actually contacted me and wanted to send me one of these for review. Uh, they were gonna send me a P321 and I asked if I could have uh, the P365 uh, XL grip module to put on this so that I could test out your all's theory on the X and I am here to tell you, you were correct. Just like in the other video where I showed you about installing this, um, you were correct. Uh, the XL grip module is way better. The way this is flared up, it uh, just feels better. And this is my most carried uh, EDC pistol that I own. Uh, the reason it has a threaded barrel, one is I can attach my suppressor to it, but two is you get a little bit more velocity out of that extra half inch right here. And if you're gonna use a light, you might as well have a threaded barrel because they're the same, almost, actually the light still sticks out further than the barrel does. So you're not really losing anything by not ha or by having this on here, but you do lose a little bit by just having a standard barrel. So I did swap that out uh, for the True Precision barrel. And uh, this is my favorite EDC gun. It just melts away. The sides aren't as rough, let's say, as like the X Macro. Uh, this part is, and this part is way, I mean, this part's way, way more, um, Textury than the X Macro is. Uh, that stippling right there is aggressive. That's what I'm looking for, aggressive. But this part does not hit your skin, so you don't really feel that. Uh, there again, Studio makes some of the best holsters that I've ever used, and I have several more of these. And they don't give these to me, I pay full price. Um, a lot of times I buy them on Black Friday because they give a big sale on Black Friday, and if I, um, if I need a holster, then, uh, I usually wait till Black Friday and buy, you know, one or two of them. That way it doesn't hurt my pocketbook as much as it does um, if I don't do that because these things are fairly expensive. I do like the metal wing better than the polymer because it's a little more rigid and actually pulls the grip in just a little bit better. Um, but there again, normally if I have on street clothes, uh, some kind of SIG P365 uh, will be on my body somewhere. Let me know in the comments section what you think about my top five favorite EDC pistols. Let me know what your top five pistols are. I'm sure there's a lot of you out there that have different opinions. A lot of you all probably carry Glock 19s or SIG P320s or even Springfield Armory Hellcats. I have one of those. It's, it's not my favorite gun. But I'm curious to know what you all carry. Um, please leave that in the comments section below. Please like, share, and subscribe. I love you guys. We'll see you next time.